What's poppin' everyone? I don't know if you saw this or not, but there's a new Superman picture for all of us to enjoy, and apparently, according to James Gunn, no AI whatsoever in it. It was all shot in camera. Yeah, the, the, the outside looks like it's, you know, really real, but, you know, C CGI, whatever. Anyway, this is with David Corinset. I'm assuming that I pronounce his name correctly. Uh, in the future, I'm going to probably just choke my lyrics or something. Anyway, David Cordensen is playing Superman in this new film, Superman Legacy, which apparently changed its name to just Superman because, yeah, we all have to change our names back to the original one-word thing to invoke nostalgia, I guess, and, you know, I guess the internet, uh, whatever, caches that or whatever, uh, whatever. Anyway, this film's not only being written, but directed by the new uh, supposed head of Diz DC, um, James Gunn, yeah. What you gotta say, love the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, love the, the Suicide Squad film that he directed and wrote and all that, so yeah, it, it's... Looking like it's finally coming along and all that. And, uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm saying this, but, hey, we got Superman undies. Yes, Superman is wearing his famous underpants in this. And it looks like his S is a little bit uh, more stylized, I guess. It reminds me of the uh, Fletcher cartoon and all that, which apparently that's where a lot of the uh, inspiration is for this film as well. Which, I gotta say, you know, the, these, these cartoons, they capture Superman in ways you wouldn't expect. And from the lighting and everything here, it looks like this suit is more like armor. You know, like a very padded armor and all that, which, hey, works pretty well for Superman, you know, instead of just, you know, a shirt in a, you know, the first Superman film and... I guess just like a really thick shirt in the Man of Steel films and all that, you know, the DCEU. This one seems like it's really targeted, you know, it's, it's like targeted armor, like uh, th there's stuff on his biceps and all that, there's stuff, you know, on his shoulder, you know, and it seems a lot more targeted, and you know what, I like that, I, I think it's really enjoyable, and who, who knows, this might be the same uh, type of Superman as the Fletcher comics or the Fletcher cartoons. I shouldn't say comics, the cartoons and all that. You know, I, you know what? This, this, this is pretty nice. You know, he looks like a Superman come to life. You know, of course, there's always Christopher Reeve. He will always be the, the quintessential classic Superman. Okay. And then you got Henry Cavill, which I gotta say is the most interesting Superman, at least in my eyes. I don't know, like, uh, I, I know Zack Snyder was kind of building him up to become the Superman we all know and love, you know, kind of coming through the weeds of modern society and all that type of stuff, you know, but yeah, Zack, he, he's not necessarily the best director, he's just a good visual artist, if you will, in my eyes, but honestly, the Man of Steel, Superman, I really enjoyed, Henry Cavill is, was great in that role, especially in Zack Snyder's Justice League. I think it all came together, finally. Although, the, the black suits was kind of just... I don't, I don't know why he put that on. Whatever. And I don't know. I don't know necessarily if I'm just projecting myself <laughs> onto this photo, which, who knows, it might be. I have no idea. But, it seems like they're kind of meshing the two. They're kind of giving us the classic Superman, but just... Just a little bit of, uh, you know, the Henry Cavill Superman that's kind of like, you know, having to deal with all this modern-day garbage and all that stuff, you know? So, who knows? It could be the mesh of the two, but, hey, we gotta have Superman, all right? Like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was Wonder Woman from the comics, okay? Like, the ever effervescent, just, this is right, this is wrong, we're going to do the right thing no matter what. We need more of that in our superhero films, you know? There's, again, there's some superheroes that are like, yeah, we got the existential crisis and all that. We, there's a lot of 
you know, we, we got to think, we, we got to see what exactly is right and wrong and what's the uh, consequences for each or whatever. Yeah, that's fine, you know, whatever. But there are also those superheroes that, you know, strike hope, you know? There's that hopeful s- superhero, you know? Like Superman. Like, if you get that core value of Superman, where he's hope, where he is just the bee's knees of superheroes, then yeah, then you can dive into, you know, Superman Red Sun or whatever, where they're coming to Superman and all that, or, you know, then you can do the Superman, you know, Injustice, where Superman, you know, becomes evil and all that. Then you can start doing that stuff, but not off the cuff, you know, like Zack Snyder did, which is absolutely atrocious. My gosh, Zack, what the hell were you thinking? But anyway, where most of the discourse is actually kind of transpiring is not on the suits, which I think is kind of underrated, supposedly, in this photo. But no, the the real talk amongst the internet is what's happening outside the window of where Superman's putting on his suits, which I I don't even think <laughs> I don't I don't even think that uh James Gunn was even, you know <sighs> focusing on that, but you know, whatever. The comic book nerds are gonna comic book nerd, I guess. But anyway, here we go. So yeah, Brainiac or some kind of weird thing is just dive bombing Metropolis or whatever and uh yeah, you see the uh, Lex Corps, like, uh, towers or whatever connected with the bridge, I think, or something like that. And then way down below is, you know, the uh, the Daily Planet, you know, where, I guess, and people have speculated that this joke is going to be in here, where every time they try to, you know, say something critically to Lex Corp, they're just kind of thinking, oh no, you know, they're just looking up and they're like, oh shoot, you know, what, they, what are we going to do about this, you know? Again, visual comedic jokes, they are good, and it, it, yeah, it, it's looking like this is going to be a comedic visual joke right here that's going to be taking place probably more times than not, which is good. I'm all for it. I'm here for this Superman. This Superman seems really, really well done, really thought out, really spectacularly, you know. I'm just wondering where all the Kingdom Come inspiration is going to be, you know, because, of course, Kingdom Come is one of the greatest comics ever written in DC, but apparently that's going to be some inspiration, according to James Gunn as well. I get the Fletcher comics. I get the, uh, wait, man, why do I keep on seeing Fletcher comics? Fletcher cartoons. Fletcher cartoons, yes. It's the Fletcher cartoons. I get it. I get the Fletcher cartoons. I get that one comic. I, I, gosh, I forget the name of it, but there's like, uh, this one really new Superman comic that's supposedly really good. I've only seen like images from that, and I get the, uh, just that from it, you know? I, I get that from that one thing. I don't get Kingdom Come, though. I, I don't understand what Kingdom Come has to do with anything about this, but I don't know. Anyway, though, guys, what do you think? Is this Superman image great? Is it bad? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell. Like if you like the video. Dislike if you dislike the video. More vids come your way, and hey, take care, guys.